Think of cotton fields, and you probably think of the vast acreage of the southern states. But in fact, cotton is also a major crop in California, Arizona, and New Mexico. California's cotton industry generates revenues in excess of $3.5 billion annually, although that number would be dramatically lower if not for a decades-long program to eradicate an extremely destructive pest. It's one of the great success stories of American agriculture. The pink bollworm is the most destructive pest of cotton in the world. And while it originated in Asia, it soon spread to every cotton-growing region in the world. In the 1920s, it came into the cotton belt of the United States. And then about 40 years after that, it was a major problem in Southern California cotton fields. It was destroying the industry in Arizona and it was beginning to spread northward uh, into the San Joaquin Valley. The cotton industry was facing a, a very serious threat from this pest. When the insect first came into California, hundreds of pounds of pesticides were applied to combat it. But the problem is, is that the larvae develops in the cotton bowl, and your classical chemicals don't penetrate that window, and the insect continues to develop. So sterile insect technology was developed. I started with an assignment uh, to try to eradicate pink bollworm in the Coachella Valley as a test in 1970. I became obsessed with the fact that it should be eradicated and it could be eradicated biologically. It was contingent on the use of transgenic cotton, which is BT cotton. It contains an endotoxin that is incredibly efficient. Sterile insects were the longest standing tool that was to be used in that technology, and insect pheromone technology. So we wove all of those three technologies as the main control technologies into a program under the management of CDFA and the California Cotton Pest Control Board. You have to give tribute to the California cotton growers for having the vision to develop an area-wide approach. And not only that, they had the commitment to fund the sterile insect rearing facility in Phoenix, Arizona. We make the diet for the insects and we put eggs on it and seal it up in a container. And when we're all finished and have them as adults, we irradiate them to sterilize them, but leave them very healthy and competitive. We pack them up in special uh, magazines that we send out to field locations across the southwestern U.S. and northern Mexico. We release them over cotton fields so that they can find wild, fertile mates, mate with them, and stop the population. The goal was just to exclude this pest from getting further up into, into the San Joaquin. As time progressed and they saw how successful the overall integrated approach was, then the growers in Arizona, in New Mexico, in Mexico, in Texas, they wanted to try to apply this technology too. As other states began participating in the area-wide program, a major challenge was faced, and that was being able to produce millions of sterile insects every day. The magic number was five million. But from that point on, it seemed like we can do this. And when I left the lab, the best that we had was 16 million sterile moths a day. My first year, we wanted to push it up to 20 million a day to cover these other locations, including California, Arizona, New Mexico, and uh, two locations in Mexico. We were targeted between 26 and 28 million, and there were many, many, many days when we were distributing more than 30 million in in insects a day out of the Phoenix facility. It was very satisfying to, to learn that they would finally eradicate the insect. You dream that you'll come to this end, you know, the success, but it doesn't always happen. And in this case, we saw a, a program that was 100% effective. Eradicating pink bollworm has just been a gigantic undertaking. It's taken years and years and years of effort and research and development and just hard work. And it's, it's done so much more than just eliminate pink bollworm. The 
There's so much pesticide use that's been eliminated because of this program. I have a very good friend who's one of our key cotton growers in Arizona once told me, he said, now Bob, thank you, growing cotton is fun.